this is mine. I knew they were putting it in place, but I never knew it was today. We found out at Walmart. Plastic bag ban day two. A mixed bag of reaction here in Glen Burnie. Anne Arundel County's new law went into effect on New Year's Day, banning most retailers from bagging purchases in plastic. It's paper or a reusable or nothing. Given that the law also mandates a minimum 10 cent bag fee, some folks went with the latter. That's a straight up rip off to me. You know, grocery is already too high. Now you got to buy a bag to put your stuff in. No, that's crazy. At Gershbeck's food market, some customers brought their own bags. Others learned the ban was now in place at the checkout. Can we just add them as we go along? At least start out with three. Some knew, some didn't, and then some just forgot about that they should bring bags in, and that's why like, either they had the bags in their car and like, okay, I don't want a bag because I have it in the car, but some of them didn't know, like, oh, shoot. Most we talked to supported the new law, which comes with steep fines for noncompliance. It's all right with me. I like it. Well, we'll see. We'll see when time, as, as time goes on. We'll see if it helps. But there was also confusion. Not a whiff of plastic inside Gershbeck's, Dwayne Shepard told us, but Dollar General was all about it. Kate, you know I'm confused. <laughs> my grocery store is with the new January 2020 floor law, but my dollar store where I get my toilet paper, my paper plates, they're still giving this. I was so perplexed. I was like, well, wait a minute. I, and I asked her, I said, but I thought we weren't supposed to have plastic. Well, we have a lot of them in stock and we're not getting rid of them. We're going to keep giving them to our customers. The workers told us the same thing when we went inside. It was yellow plastic bags at every checkout counter. They said nobody from corporate told them anything. The cash register doesn't show them anything in terms of charging for any other kind of bag. Although about two of the nine Dollar Generals in this county told us today they were still giving out plastic bags. Half of them were totally on board with the ban and told us why would we risk it? Every instance, which is one bag given out counts as an instance, they risk a thousand dollar fine. So we reached out to the corporate office to ask what's going on here, what's the disconnect? And according to corporate, they are abiding by the new policy, the new law, and says Dollar General stores in this county are not providing plastic bags, though we clearly saw that was otherwise here in person in Glen Burnie. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.